Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I'm going to do an update on Gigi Hadid and Zayn Malik. This one's for you, Dynasty. <laughs> Dynasty has been leaving comments on my celebrity readings. Anything I post, she's like, do one on Gigi and Zayn. Gigi and Zayn. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this one for you, Dynasty. So here's this. Uh, I did a reading on them a while back, and I really felt that these two were like oil and water. I kind of went through the reading a little bit just to kind of refresh my memory. I They had a baby. They're together. Um, they kind of broke up and, and so forth, right? But they had this baby, um, it looks like sometime in November or something like that. Uh, I do feel this baby has helped their relationship. He's a jealous one. I feel he's got a lot of insecurities. And with these, I think the securities were, was, um, like she's a supermodel or something, right? So I got this feeling that he never thought it was going to be good enough, that it's only going to take a good looking man, someone tall, dark and handsome, uh, to come by and sweep her off her feet and she's gone. So that I feel was his, his insecurity that, um, so I feel like he was, uh, possessive and jealous and she couldn't breathe. Now I don't I don't know if they planned on getting pregnant and her having a baby, but I do feel this has helped him be more secure. The baby has made him feel more secure. Like, ah, uh, okay, go out, good. She's not going to go anywhere. Now she's here to stay. I don't know who broke up with who during any of these times. Half the time I don't know um, who a celebrity is. Like I didn't. I've never heard of Gigi. And I hope I'm saying it right. I don't know if it's Gigi or Gigi, but maybe it's Gigi. I've never heard of Gigi and Zane. Um, people just ask for these um, uh, celebrity readings and I do them. So I sometimes I have to look it up a little bit. But um, somebody asked me to do a reading on them and all I, all I like, and then I just pick up the energies, right? So I'm a clairsentient clairvoyant so I pick up what other people feel and so I, I get this like she felt suffocated by him she feels suffocated I feel he has backed off a little bit because I feel that he thinks that this baby has now cemented the relationship and she may not be as prone to up and leaving him at the drop of a hat now Anybody that is a fan of theirs, please leave a comment on um, who it is that kept breaking up with whom. I have a feeling she left him because th there's suffocation here between them. More him suffocating her, jealous, possessive, and um, nobody can live like that. Now again, with the baby coming along, I feel that the relationship is better. He's feeling more secure. He's more traditional, like, okay, got her pregnant, got her knocked up. She has my baby now. She's not going anywhere. She doesn't have time to be texting another man if that's the case. So I feel that um, he thinks now she's too busy to be perhaps having a wandering eye, which I don't think she ever had. But I think she felt that the accusations kind of got a little too much after a while. So that is the vibe that I pick up. I do feel that this baby has helped them, whether it was on purpose that they got pregnant or it was an accident. I feel like it was a blessing in disguise. A baby is always a blessing, right? Um, I feel that, that this relationship is cemented a little bit more. I think that sometimes it does, um, there are times where it does kind of, uh, you know, seeps out of him. The... Um, insecurities but it's not as bad as it used to be now she's home a little bit more and you know looking after the baby and you know with this whole covid thing too not a lot of people are as traveling as much as they used to like her going away to work and things like that so i do feel this has been a good thing for the two of them um i feel that this will keep them together um, I don't know if it's forever, but <clears throat> I feel that this ha will keep the them together for a while yet. Okay, um, I don't think it's a, it's a marriage or it's a, a relationship made in heaven um, due to him being possessive and insecure. All right, uh, and jealous. But 
the baby is making it easier to tolerate. And again, he's not after her as much as he used to be. This is what I pick up. I really picked that up. Now, um, if anybody is interested in getting a private reading, <clears throat> you can email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm also putting my PayPal link down beneath uh, in the comments section if anybody would like to donate. I don't get paid much to do readings. Readings, um, these readings here, maybe I'll get three or four dollars from YouTube. So if anybody, if you guys like this content and you want to um, donate, donations are welcome. You don't have to, but um, but I'm kind of putting that out as an option. If you like the content and you want me to keep doing these readings, um, it costs money to buy decks of cards and, you know, lighting and things like that. So donations are welcome. So, all right. What is the message between, what is the energies between Gigi and Zane? What are the energies between Gigi and Zane? She's got a sister, does she not? I don't even, I know there's another Hadid somewhere out there. All right, what are the energies between Gigi and Zane? I want to make sure I have all the cards. Yep. What are the energies between Gigi and Zane? Gigi and Zane. What are the energies between Gigi and Zane? What are the energies between Gigi and Zane? The way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till the one card falls out. And if you want to get a private reading, these... Um, the turnaround time is less than five days. So if you purchase a reading today, I'll probably have it out to you within a couple days or less. All right, so what are the energies between Gigi and Zane? We have the Ace of Cups, new baby or relationship, proposal, marriage, birth. I think marriage is coming for them. I think for him, it's the right thing to do. I feel like he is somewhat traditional because he's so possessive and so forth. I feel like he wants to tie her down to him. But this is emotions running uh, their, their, their cup is filled with their emotions. So there's the new baby. Okay. I think proposal and marriage are coming. And this is about the birth of the baby. It has helped. It has opened up their life. It's opened up their world, um, to not just being about the two of them. Now it's the baby as well. Then we have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords is about getting mental clarity. There is clarity here regarding the relationship between the two of them. The Ace of Swords speaks about um, beginnings, decisions, insight, success, clarity. It reveals success and breakthrough with determination and clarity of purpose. You get what you want in work, creative projects, and relationships. Everything changes for the better when this ace comes into play. Okay? New beginnings. There's clarity here in the relationship. There's new emotional beginnings. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. That speaks about consolidation. Ten of Pentacles talks about wealth, happiness, consolidation, family, marriage. This joyful 10 shows consolidating wealth and sharing love. So the card's meaning include relationship commitment, marriage, wedding gifts, inheritance, strong ties across generations. And uh, so here we have consolidation. It's marriage. Here we have marriage. There is marriage coming for these two. Okay. Then we have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups talks about, um, I think this is about surprise social engagements. Uh, Page of Cups, just, let me just get the full meaning here for you guys. Page of Cups. Uh, news. I think this is marriage news that's going to be coming. This is about... Um, a creative phase plus surprise social opportunities and friendships. It's a sign of a new relationship on the horizon. So it's this relationship and there's also good news about children and projects. This is about their child that has brought them together. 
Okay. All right. Let's see the future messages. I think marriage is coming uh, for them. I think it might be, I don't see a big splashy wedding with them. I see it being a little more subdued, um, close family, friends, you know, a quiet. Maybe we won't even know that they're um, planning on getting married, you know. I could see it's kind of like being in someone's backyard or just a small event, you know. Future messages regarding Gigi and Zane. What are the future messages regarding Gigi and Zane? Future messages regarding Gigi and Zane. 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 All right, what are the future messages regarding Gigi and Zane? We have the page of coins. This is about, again, news coming to them. Um, it is about good news about money, income through a new job or project or property offer. It's also time to, okay, so this is about income opportunities, future messages. I think that they're both going to be working. All right, so um, yeah, they both are going to have some uh, new projects and jobs coming up. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is about um, a turning point. So the Wheel of Fortune is about good fortune. And it's a turning point in the relationship. It is about fate. Destiny, opportunities, luck, change. Everything improves with this card. Work, home, life, finances, career, and relationships. And lots of opportunities for success. The card invites you to manifest your wishes through affirmations and action. All right? So... They are going to have a lot of luck in their finances and work and home life and relationship. This baby has really been a blessing. Then we have the Knight of Swords. It's dark in here. I can barely see. And the Knight of Swords speaks about... There could be some drama, stress, conflict coming up. Um, it's a, it's a fast-moving energy. So whatever is... Whatever this stress or drama is, it's going to come in and, and it's going to leave. Applied to a situation, he stands for sudden drama and conflict. And he often reveals relationship stress, family discord, or other personal challenges to be overcome. So, I mean, there's still some stresses here. But I feel like I don't think it's going to really ultimately end the relationship. But I do see the mountains represent obstacles. So I do feel that, you know, this, like I said, it's not a marriage made in heaven or a relationship made in heaven. There is obstacles and they do try, but they're going to have these situations, these, this conflict and relationship stresses. We have the Ace of Cups again. Here's the, the uh, proposal in marriage. I believe marriage is coming for these two. And then we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords represents, God, I wish I, you know what? Reading people is where I shine and I do my best work. Reading cards is a struggle for me. I know what they all mean, but if I could do a reading without cards, I'd be so happy. <laughs> all right, so there's the King of Swords. Ambition, decision, order, justice. Uh, this guy is highly strategic and, if necessary, ruthless. And when applied to a situation, the card stands for mind power, decisions, and justice. Okay? So I believe this is him. He's intense. I, I want to say he's a Scorpio. I don't know why. He's intense. Um, and he likes to make de makes decisions. I'm going to look him up. Zayn Malik. Let's see when Zayn Malik's birthday is. I know you guys hate it when I do this. But I always kind of decide to do this at the lane at the last minute. All right. Zayn Malik birthday. January 12th. He's a Capricorn. Hmm. He he's he's I don't know if he's got a lot of Scorpio traits or something. I just feel he's intense, very intense and jealous. 
I don't know if it's from his upbringing or what. Uh, oh, he's from Northern England, so he's English. But, um, yeah, that, I, I get that there's this intensity about him. So, all right, there you go. Uh, it's not destiny. It's, uh, I forget who I did this for. Um, but I hope... You are happy that I did this reading for you. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, I'm trying to find the name of the person. Hold on here. Oh, man. Maybe it's Destiny. Oh, well, I'm not going to waste my time trying to find that. Sorry. All right, so there you go. If you guys uh, love this reading, thumbs up. All right, um, share it. I have Twitter. I have six people that follow me or eight people that follow me. I have no idea how to get it out there. Put it on Twitter, put it on Instagram, do whatever you want to do. You can you can um, share it with whomever. And again, if you'd like to purchase a private reading, email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. I'll get back to you within 24 hours and I'll have a reading to you within five days. All right. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. I truly appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this reading. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.